Hi friends, our today's topic is simple interest and in this video we are going to solve few of the questions which has been already asked in the bank exams and this kind of questions will repeatedly asked in the upcoming exams. So let's understand the question and try to solve it. So Mr. Deepak invested an amount of 21,250 rupees for 6 years. At what rate of simple interest will he obtain the total amount of rupees 26,350 at the end of the 6 years. So basically what they are asking, they are asking the rate of simple interest, right? Okay, so let's read the question once again. Mr. Deepak invested an amount of 21,250 rupees. So 21,250 rupees will become our principal because whatever amount we invest, that is nothing but our principal, right? And what is the time? Time is given 6 years, right? And the rate of simple interest they are asking, obtained the total amount of rupees 26,350. So total amount is what? 26,350 rupees, right? So amount will be what? Suppose you are investing 1000 rupees, right? And at the rate of 10% interest and the 10% of 1000 will be 100 rupees. So after one year, bank will give you how much? So after one year, bank will give me 1100 rupees. So amount will be nothing but principal plus simple interest, right? So in this case also, amount will be what? Principal plus simple interest, right? So you see 26350 and what is the principal? Principal is 21250 plus simple interest. Now simple interest will become how much? 0 minus 0 is 0, 5 minus 5 is 0, 3 minus 2 is 1, 6 minus 1 is 5 and 2 minus 2 is 0. So my simple interest is how much? 5100. Now we know the formula simple interest is equal to P into R into T by 100. Right? So what is the simple interest? 5100. What is the principal? Principal is 21250. Rate we have to calculate and time is equal to 6 years and divide by 100, right? Okay, see 10 will cancel 10. Now rate will become 5100 into 10 and divide by 2125 into 6, right? So 17 will divide this by 3 times and 17 will divide this by 125 times. 125 will divide this 1000 by 8 times. So it will become 24 divided by 6, which is nothing but 4%. So the rate of simple interest will be what? 4%. So now you see, so A, B, C, D. So 4% is none of the option. So option E will be your correct answer. That is none. And it will be what? 4%. Right? Question number 2. So question number 2 is also asked in Allahabad Bank 2008, right? Okay, now let's uh, read the question and try to solve it. So, Silpa invest a certain amount of money, right? So, Silpa is investing some certain, certain amount of money that is nothing but your principal and that is not known, right? At the rate of 6%. So, rate of interest is given how much? 6%. And for how many years? For time is equal to 5 years, right? If C obtains a simple interest of 8490, so how much simple interest is obtaining 8490 at the end of the five years. So how much did Silpa invest? So they're asking the Silpa investment. So Silpa investment is nothing but principal, right? Now we know the formula simple interest is equal to P into R into T by 100, right? So simple interest is already given 8490. Principal you have to calculate rate is 6% and time is five years divided by 100, right? Now cross multiplication we can do from here 8490 into 100 and divide by 30 is equals to principal right now 10 will cancel 10 and then 3 3 to the 6 and 8 is 24 and 330 90 so my principal will become 28300 right so now check the option so first option is 25000 second option is 28500 third option is 30000 and fourth option is 36,790. So my answer will be what? None. And the value will be 28,300, right? See, in the same question, if they ask you amount, if they ask you amount, amount means whatever Silpa gets from the bank, right? So amount will be what? Principal plus simple interest. So what is your principal? Principal, we have got 28,300. And what was the simple interest? 8490, which is nothing but 097 and 6, 36,790 will become my amount, right? See, this option is given here, but this is not the principal. This is what amount. 
your principal will be how much to 28300 and that is nothing but the investment of silpa right so our answer will be 28300 thanks for watching the video